welcome back to the channel. This is Stranger Palooza. I'm Hank Strange. This is Nick Schmidt of Sunshine State of Yes, sir. You said that backwards. Normally you say, I'm Hank Strange. Right. This is Stranger Palooza. This time I know, I know. I saw way. you looked at me. I, I was like, man, it doesn't seem natural. We're messing with a new camera. Yes, that is so true. So that's kind of like throwing everything off here. Yes. But Nick, what's up, man? What's going on? What's up? I'm good, good. Yeah, good to see you. We're in yeah. Gainesville, Florida. Mm -hmm. It's a little chilly today. It's about 60 degrees. Yeah, kind of. It's that's kind of a nice thing. It is. Right? It is. It yeah, is. We're not, it's not getting all geared up for our uh, peace, love, and vans this weekend. Right. Yes. It's gonna be in Dade City. Peace, right. love, and vans. And you guys will be there, we, and you'll have a bunch of different vans. We will be there. We'll yes. have a bunch of. We'll have some Overland vans. Some pretty cool okay. stuff. We're gonna bring cool. like a Revel, a Storyteller. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it's a Patriot 4x4, a Nova, mm -hmm. you know, Solus. Yeah, some cool stuff. Yeah. Now, this is not a van, but this is actually I know. You see this big thing behind me? This yeah, is like this the is elephant. <laughs> this is the elephant in the room. Right. Literally, the <laughs> elephant what in is, the room. This is not a Class so B. So, <laughs> at Sunshine State RVs, we pride ourselves in being the number one Class B dealership in Florida, mm -hmm. number three in the whole country mm -hmm. for Class B vans, Sprinter vans, Transit vans. Pro Master vans, but sometimes people tell me, Nick, a van is just a little too small. I okay. need a little more space. Yeah. I need a little more room to spread out. I yeah. want a separate shower and toilet. I want like two sleeping situations. Yeah. And and I like to have stuff available when they ask me that. You know, right. not a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but a cool a few things. Right. And then my friend Hank here got me involved <laughs> in the Overland community. Yeah, because this is a. <laughs> This and is so, a, a, a excursion. This is an, ex, an expedition vehicle, yeah, excursion right. vehicle. Yeah. So you got me involved in Overland. <laughs> Customers right. are saying yeah. they want something they a little bigger. Uh -huh. So kind of the the culmination of all of that, this is the baby of it here. Yeah. This is the Dynamax Asada 5 with the Explorer package. Okay. It's a Dodge 5500 4x4, mm -hmm. Cummins turbo diesel on a Dynamax. I mean, this is only 30 feet long. It's a 28 SS, it's called. The Asada 5 is like one of the coolest Super C's on the market. Right, we, the we've coolest. looked at, we have done Asada stuff in the past, We have right? Asada 3's. Yeah, so, but this, so like if, if someone really wants it all, you know, it's not a Class B, it's it, not a van, but if you really want it all. It's every, a Super C. Yeah, this excursion ca kind of category. Yeah. I don't know if we could talk about the big name brands out there. You know, people get crazy. So, I mean, really, but this is in that category. Yeah, so it's like Earth Roamers. Earth and there's, I mean, like off road. Like, uh, yeah. there's, there's like big things like this. Like 27 right. North doesn't build anything this big. Right. But this is, this is good size, mm -hmm. but it's on a truck chassis. Yeah. That, I mean, this thing can go to Alaska. Like, it yeah. is a true Four Seasons coach. Like 80 gal, huge fresh tanks yeah. and huge black tanks. Yeah. Lithium. It's very and, cool. I've seen this. Yeah. KW diesel generator. Like nuts. <laughs> nuts. Like way, yeah. way overbuilt. All right, folks, let me tell you about an absolute game changer for those of us living the van life or embarking on overlanding adventures. Today's sponsor, Liquefied, has come up with the ultimate solution for RV tank troubles. You know, there's nothing worse than stubborn tank buildup when you're out on the road, right? Well, Liquefied RV Tank Cleaner is here to help make those worries a thing of the past. This enzyme-based solution does exactly what its name suggests. It liquefies solid waste and toilet paper, making the dumping process smooth, clean, and easy. And the best part, it's environmentally friendly and 100% biodegradable. So you can maintain your RV without harming Mother Nature. You can snag this must-have product on Amazon today. Just click on the link in this video's description. Trust me, your RV tank and your peace of mind will thank you. Make every journey a clean and fresh one with Liquefied. Way overbuilt. So let's just uh, talk for one kind of one second, right? About two things. I always yes. ask you, like, who would buy it? Yes. And then I also kind of go over, like, where can it go? This is capable. This is like a true four by four. Oh yeah. A true four by four. True. But four it's by also four. big. So you're not necessarily. It's 30 feet. So your yeah. van's 22 feet. Right. 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 Sprinter van's like like this Coachman Galleria right, right yeah. here. Yeah. This thing's 24 feet. Yep. A Winnebago view is 25 feet. Right. This thing's 30 feet. So yeah. it is, this is the smallest of the Super Cs. So the question, who's going to buy it? Yeah. So, and you could take this, you could go to a lot of places, but I wouldn't take this up a precarious road hanging off the know, side dude. of a mountain. Thir 
Thirty. Unless you want to be on uh, what's the name of that rescue guy? Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Yeah, yeah, I can't remember. Right, you know the guys who yes, rescue. Yes, not Joe's rescue <laughs> yeah. or someone hanging off the side of the yes, mountain. But yes, yes. Matt's with... RV recovery is that right? I, yes, I think that might be it. Yes, but you know you're you're like not if... Matt's RV reviews. No, not Matt's, Matt's RV reviews. Matt's recovery, I think. Yes. I don't know, yeah. Something. So, but the thing is, is that you could take a lot, you could take a lot with you. Yeah. So you could take, uh, you could probably tow Whatever. a vehicle, take Definitely. vehicles. 10,000 pounds yeah. of towing capacity. Yeah. And you can do this in style and comfort. So who buys this? So who buys it? Mm -hmm. This has sleeping situation for six people. Mm -hmm. um, you have four seat belts. Um, you know, somebody that really wants to push the limits. Okay. Somebody that truly wants to push the limits and try to get places in weather um in in uh topography uh mm -hmm. geography like places yeah. that just normal transit vans even like an all-wheel drive transit van can't go because right. this is a true four by four it has the off-road wheels it's like lifted i mean like it yeah, this thing terrain. can truly rough yeah. terrain yeah. Uh, but then just the capability of the tanks and the generator and the solar mm -hmm. i mean it, it has lithium it has you know all the insulation there's just so they have overbuilt this for mm -hmm. having a 30 foot RV there, I keep saying van. That's just what naturally yeah, flows out of out my of mouth. Head. This is this not, is a, not van. a van. This is not, this a, is van. not <laughs> a van. This is a super duper C. Yeah. Super duper C. Is that, so that's your that's your official category. Super duper C. Super duper C. Super okay. duper C. All right, so give me the run through. What, yeah, what so vehicle are we starting with here? This is a Dodge 5500 Ram. Okay. Uh, it's a Cummings. Right. Turbo diesel engine mm, uh, nice. has these huge hooks. Like, I don't know what these things are for. What it's do you do with that? Uh, recovery. Those are recovery hooks. Oh. So you know when you're hanging off that side of the mountain. Because that's how they you pull you, you up. Do it. That's how they pull you up. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one of the ways. <laughs> one of the ways. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um. So this is a real comfortable Dodge. Also, mm -hmm. I mean, push button start, big nav screen, like right. every option. Should we look in there? Can we open? Yeah. The door? Let's, walk, let's walk around the outside first. And then this is the first one that you have, or are you? This is the first okay. one. We got another one coming next week i i i don't believe in like like going like half stepping i don't believe no in like going stepping. in no half stepping hey, here no <laughs> half stepping uh, so i don't yeah, want to do I things a little bit so uh -huh. when i do it i'm gonna do it right right, right so we're right. doing this uh -huh. we're getting another one next week i got a storyteller hilt coming which is the same okay. size as this i got oh, i that's mean right yeah I mean, the story oh, you're getting all up in that. Category. I'm getting all up in it. I mean, Hank, you you got me hooked on don't, it. Don't blame me. You got me hooked. Now I'm all in. Oh, okay. I'm all in. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So we were getting the storyteller right. hilt, and we're getting uh -huh. the Asada five, and those are both super duper C's that are going to be oh, big. They're going to okay. be off road. They're going to do everything. Very nice. So let's see inside so, of this. So um, pretty sweet. They, this is very comfortable sitting oh, so nice and driving. Leather. Yep. Power seats, heated oh, seats, cool. navigation, cool. backup camera, the... ad adaptive cruise control. Right. Um, everything. Everything you can imagine on this Ram chassis. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the 5500 is serious. Like yeah, serious, very serious. Business. And then I see just up front here, I see you've got like the wider mirrors and it's got. What? There's a Sunshine Elite Club little oh, thing yeah. going on already? You don't oh, know wow. about the Sunshine Elite Club? <laughs> Guaranteed service appointments. I never, in... saw, I never saw that little no? thing. Yeah, Guaranteed no. service appointment in five days. Free valet delivery back and forth from your house if you're within 100 miles. You guys are getting busy with the graphics. Free delivery. We fly in to yeah. pick it up. All kinds of cool stuff. So the beauty of these things is storage, right? Storage. Storage, 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 and, more storage. and more storage. But, yeah. but look at this. Like, look how pretty looks this awesome. is. looks awesome. I mean, it has the mountain terrain. It has the compass rose. Yep, compass rose. It has, it's light, it's dark. I mean, it's just, this is all paint. There's no decals. Okay. This is all, I mean, even look at the, the 5 Series Asada. Yeah. 4x4, four four, like all. Oh, so that's all added at the factory. So who makes the Asadas? Four, that... uh, so Dynamax does. Dynamax. And Dynamax okay. is owned by Force River. Mm -hmm. They're made in Elkhart, Indiana. Okay. They okay, are the cool. industry leader when it comes to this type of stuff. So right. you do have some storage here. This is some big, huge inverter. Um, wow. Yeah, that thing's big. Magna. So, so uh, what it has is I it has think. it has a 400 amp hours of lithium. Mm -hmm. Has a 3,000 watt inverter. It has uh, solar on the roof. It also has an 8 kW Onan diesel oh, okay. generator. So wow. 8 kW. When I was building my house recently, they mm -hmm. told me I needed a generator. I said, okay, how big do I need? They said, well- Like a whole house, Jim? Okay. To run your whole house generator, mm -hmm. you need somewhere between 10 and 15 kW. 
Mm -hmm. So this little RV has 8KW <laughs> to run my whole house. So it has batteries. I got four kids, generator. and I got a big yeah. house. Yeah. They said 10 to 15KW yeah. would run everything in my house. Yeah. This 30-foot RV has an 8KW generator wow. and 400 amp hours of lithium. Now, right. the lithium's just good to power everything. It's not going to yeah. run your air conditioners. Right. Oh, and there are two air conditioners. Right. I'm going to assume. With heat pumps and yeah. a furnace. Right. I mean, everything. And, and this a is Truma. ducted or something probably. Ducted. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. So you got lots of power because you got the engine, you got batteries, you got generator. And hydraulic jacks. Okay. This is. Of course. So all of oh. this back here is insulated. This is mm -hmm. your. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, I like how they put this on the side. This is the black tank. The hose is there. Yeah. You got all your switches and everything. You've. Uh, this is like a drain, right? Yep. So that's that's, cool. that's where you kind of run your your your. So you grab the hose out of here and right. you hook it here and you run it down through the ground right here. Yeah. Just and then, then kind of switch have a stays heater in. in there and everything. Yep. There's a heater in here and this heater mm -hmm. can can be controlled from the Firefly. Also, you can you can see when we get inside. I'll mm -hmm. show you. You can see what the temperature is in here. And these are some of the things that make it a true four season coach. Okay. Is that you can control the temperature of of your water connections here, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, That's and what really I love, cool. I always talk about these things. So these these outside shower things you can, you know, hook up here and you can clean anything you got going on mm -hmm. right here. You have hot water, cold yeah. water. You have all your other, you know, your your RV filters over here. Yeah. You got your tank flush, city I like water. The out of it. Yeah, I see you've got lights and, everything. and, and all yeah. kinds of. So you know, having a heater in here really, really makes a big difference because yeah. if you're going to Alaska or you're going to, can you get to Iceland from here? I don't know. <laughs> Good question. I'm gonna have to look at the map and see if you could. How That's far up, like, into Canada can you get? Like, uh, can you go all the way, like, northern Canada? Yeah, you could go far. I know we've got... Is Greenland connected up there, or is Iceland connected up there? Right now, I would have to pull out the Google machine. <laughs> uh, so, I'm not sure. And I, So, 50 amp, I see you've got your power. 50 pilot. amp, yeah. So, is, this, um, is this the regular fuel tank, or yes. extra? Okay. This, this is the regular one. This mm -hmm. is uh, diesel fuel in this. Okay. Um, this wow. Is, this is one of the beautiful Holy things. moly. This is one of the beautiful this is things huge. about a super duper storage. Yeah, wow. Is that you have Look at that. Super oh, duper storage. So wow. within this storage, you can climb in here. You can yeah. do I mean this wow. this can this has a weight limit of a ton wow. and a lot of space as well. Yeah, this is crazy. Um and if you do get things wet, there's a drain here, there's a drain there. This this is very well insulated. Um there's you not can a, sleep out here. I mean you could you sleep in here. <laughs> This is pretty big, man. I don't know if I'm sleeping in here. Yeah. Well, you know. And I see, oh, it says uh, 360 horsepower, 800 pound foot of torque. Yeah. On One, that, uh, 110 plugs in here. So this yeah. is part of, you could put a heater in here if you needed this heated as well. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come heated, but you could. But lots of storage. This is what's yeah. cool about these super. Yeah, this is huge. These super seasons awesome. that you just have yeah. tons. And you know something else I like? A lot of storage things have the compartments that go up, mm -hmm. and then when you're underneath them, guess what? Go if something goes up. Yeah, you get knocked. It's going to come down. Head. Right. Yeah. I like how these open out. I like how they're insulated. I like uh -huh. how they're made and built. The same as these. So oh. wide open. Oh, you wow. open it. You go in. Yeah. So what kind of insulation? I don't know if this is even showing up on camera. Right. We should. It, it should be. Well, yeah, that's insulated here. This is very, very well insulated. Yeah. All yeah. the storage compartments are insulated. Yeah. Like I noticed this. it says Dean. Who's that? Dean. Dean Falk. Falk. Design. Design. Like so he small. is the uh -huh. one who designs and paints all of the Dynamax. So Dynamax is really known for this. So they make million dollar mm -hmm. Super C's on like international semi truck chassis. Okay. And they have the same really, really high end paint job. Okay. It's painted like better than a car paint job. Right, right. Like it is painted in their factory by them. Right. Like this is a big deal. Wait, so when you say million dollars, is this a million dollars? This is not a million dollars. Not a million. This is okay, a quarter cool. of a million I, dollars. Yeah, I know people are going to ask. They are going to ask. That's a massive awning up there too. Yeah, nice big power awning. Can be yeah. controlled from the Firefly. Right. Um, Truma. Yeah. So it does okay. have systems that you are familiar Aqua with. Aquago. Yeah. Aquago. There's a furnace. There's hot water. There's another. Here's another. Another um, huge storage. Yeah, big storage right here. So what's here. nice wow. is under the awning, you do mm -hmm. have a HDMI plug here. Oh, cool. Okay. And cable, you have 110 plugs here. Yep. So 
so you can even connect with whatever you're watching inside here. Mm -hmm. You hook the TV here yep. and have it playing under the awning, which is nice. That's cool. Um, and then, you know, you have a super secret code to get in. Oh, okay. And then there's cameras nice. all the way around the coach. So oh, front cameras, cool. side yeah. cameras, back cameras. Okay. I, I'm blown away by the paint job. You know, yeah, it's a the nice first, paint job. The thing that grabs me you is step how step back here a little bit so it how, may flare out for you guys out there, but it'll adjust. Yeah. How tough it looks. Yeah. How it feels on the outside. Mm -hmm. Truly four season. Can go to Alaska. Can go to Greenland or Iceland or whatever's connected to northern mm -hmm. Canada. Can right. go to Antarctica. Wherever you want to go. Wherever you, you want to go. go. To South America. You can go to South I mean, America. Listen, you could always put anything on a ship and ship it anywhere. You could. You yeah. Could. Iceland. <laughs> right. Um, you know. So what's what's cool is with mm -hmm. how rugged it is on the outside, mm -hmm. no limits can really no boundaries can take you anywhere. Yeah. Once you step inside, yeah. you really feel like you're 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 stepping into luxury. Yes. You let's, really. Let's I mean, take a look at that. From not only from the stairs being mm -hmm. padded, to to just I'm here. I'll walk in first. Yeah. And follow. I'll go in right after you. Nice door, nice door here. Wow, this is a big bed right here. How many people did you say this sleeps? Six people, so two Six people there. People. Yeah. Wow. Okay, and then there's a big TV here. Nice big TV. Yeah. You can put wow. people here on the dinette. Oh, oh this is fancy. Fancy. <laughs> is, the, is this Bethany? <laughs> she did, did the plates. <laughs> Yeah. We don't usually look this fancy in a video. Is this unbreakable? Oh, nice. Okay. Wow, this looks great though. It's called so, mental ownership. It's it's people so they can right. envision themselves <laughs> using yes. the super duper C. Right. Um. So something I want to point out, Hank. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you notice it or not. Okay. Big RV right now. This slide yeah. is in. Yeah. So this has a slide and it's this in does. right now. It has okay. a slide. It is in. What's mm -hmm. very cool. Mm -hmm. A lot of times RVs this size with a slide, when the slide is in, the mm -hmm. rest of the RV is inoperable. Like yeah. you can't unusable. access anything. Yeah. It's unusable. Like mm -hmm. you can do nothing else except walk in and press the button to get the slide out. Right. They designed this in such a way that you can use every single thing in mm -hmm. this RV with the slide. Yeah. So, this, yeah, so, so we have the whole dinette. The dinette is here. Yep, you can, can eat on it. Down. You can sit on it. Okay, so there's a fork going on the right. Here, and I'm going to flip around this way just to show people what you're looking at here. And does, it's indeed in. We'll does, put it out during this video just to show you guys, but we don't have to. Does the I'm fork go on the right? Uh, Where's the I'm wine glass go? That's that thing. You only have one fork. No, there's one for that one. I know, I'm saying. You only got a, You don't have a fork and a knife and a spoon. And this a, is an RV, and dude. Simple life. Spoon. The simple life. Yeah. The, was it the dessert spoon? You right, got cup left. holders. Where do you put the dessert? Uh, I never bring, went to manners class. If you're hey. if you're Lola, you don't bring the dessert with you because then I eat it. That's, that is a true so statement. that's how that goes. <laughs> that is a true statement. I like this though. This is a nice solid table. Yeah. Seems you like know what's nice cool? Solid, this is the yeah, Asada nice Five. Solid. They make the same van in an Asada Three. Oh. Same paint, same general layout. Mm -hmm. uh, we just sold one the other day um, to someone who lives in Texas. Mm -hmm. The same exact. Is that four by four? Uh, no, it's on a Sprinter chassis. Okay, so that is technically on a van chassis, yes. whereas this is on well, this. A, this okay. is the Explorer package on the four x four. The Sprinter chassis has a full lithium system, no mm -hmm. generator. Where this one has yeah. the generator and the lithium yeah. system, which is yeah. Cool. This this looks really good in like this. We probably should yeah. we'll, we'll put so it out here. We will. And show you guys. But what I want to highlight, like the lighting so, and so I want to highlight that you can access the dinette. Mm -hmm. I want to highlight you can access. The bathroom completely. Yeah. You can access the fridge. Like an actual, you know, we always say full size. Uh, this is full size. <laughs> yeah. So you can access the fridge completely. The freezer, wow. You can okay. access the bathroom. This is the bathroom. So I can okay. walk in if you want right, to walk right. in here. I'll you come, can. I'll come down here. Just do a sneak look. peek. Woo. Oh, nice bathroom. <laughs> and then you can access yeah. your, your bed completely. Yeah. Wow, this is cool. All with the yeah. slide in. So you're driving wow. and you're heading to Alaska and you decide, you know, I just want to pull over and have a snack, yeah. take a nap. You're at a you, rest stop. Or you don't have to have a, a slide out. You don't have to see what's around you. You yeah. don't have to do anything. You just pull yeah. over and park. You can park at Bucky's and just hang out. No yeah. one, you know. This is really cool, man. And then everything is full size, full size stove. It is. So this has a propane or something? It has propane. It has a convection microwave with an air mm -hmm. fryer built in. Mm -hmm. Nice big square sink with yeah. hot and cold water. Yeah, and it, it is has, big, as you guys can see. It really ooh, is a big sink. It has the tower of yeah. power. Oh, cool. 110 plug. There's the other parts underneath. Yeah. 110 plugs, USB mm -hmm. ports. 
in and out of the way whenever you need it. So yeah. that's so so really what that's for is that's so you can take like a some kind of small kitchen appliance, put it on the counter, and mm -hmm. plug it in right there. Right. Yeah. Coffee toaster, maker, toaster. Yeah. But yeah. oh, this has an air fryer built in. This has oh. a convection microwave built in. Okay. The, so the furniture in here is very nice too. I like the lighting. I like the mm -hmm. glass doors. Yeah. I you know I think Dynamax does this a great cool. job. Yeah. With their colors, making it feel yeah. luxury. I mean, that's, a forty-inch yeah. TV with a sound bar. Yeah, that's. We cool. have a antenna on the roof. I mean, or a satellite. So this is one AC. That is one of the air conditioners. One AC. So for for a thirty foot RV, you really don't need two air conditioners. You really don't need an eight kW um, generator. You really don't need all. If this I have stuff. this and there's two ACs, I'm happy. Thank you. I, I agree. I'm saying <laughs> it's just overkill. Yeah. Typically, this RVs best. this size. <laughs> So the the big competitor, of this like mm -hmm. a Thor Omni, they don't have that. They don't uh, offer this type of stuff. Okay, yeah. You know? And so and then this is also like ducted. It is. We were talking about it's ducted. Standard with leveling jacks, Firefly. Oh. So on your generator, you have automatic generator start. You have all your lights. You have your two air conditioners. And look at this, the tank compartment. Mm -hmm. You can see how you can see what the temperature is in the tank compartment. You have two heat pumps, so each air conditioner has a heat pump. There's also a furnace. Oh, okay. You have your power awning you can let out, um, leveling jacks. I mean, there's... Yeah, that's a nice... Go back to that. That's a nice... Uh, no, the, uh, the the vehicle, yeah, the schematic. Cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, very And you got cool. your battery thing here. Um, but I like the space. I like yeah. the space a lot. Do you want to let this slide out? Yeah, let's do the slide out. Oh, this is something we did not talk about. Um, you can go right from the cabin up here to here. There you go. Engine's on. Big diesel, big boy. Let's see if I can get right back through. This looks like it's fun to drive. I've so, been, so you know what? You well, know, what's... actually, I have driven one of these big uh, diesel trucks. So right now, this bed is up, and mm -hmm. I was going to talk about this in a minute. But yeah, if you don't want this bed here, this bed can be totally gone. Oh, you can move all of this. And this oh. thing can be totally gone oh, as sweet. well. So you have even more headroom. She so just walk. So oh. then it's very easy. Yeah, that's to get cool. Out. And there's a lot of room up here. Okay, so you press the button. You guys you see go. it going here. I'll go outside. Go for it. There you go. Engine running. And here you go. Boom, so there you go. Yeah, that's gonna take a little bit of time, but really not too long. So I'm probably going to speed it up for the sake of this uh, video that we're doing, but yeah. Now let's go in and see exactly how much room we have added oh. to the situation. We've created a Whoa. dance floor. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that. This is very comfortable. <laughs> so now, wow. if okay. you have kids, or you got a parent you're traveling with, or grandparents, mm -hmm. or grandkids. Yeah. You have seat belts here. You can sit here. Yeah. You have lots of space there. You can have big dogs. You got big dogs. You got yeah. a bed up there. Yeah. I mean, this is very comfortable. Oh, very roomy. For two sure people to sit. Again. This is nice here. Awesome. Let me move this out. So you really, if you're gonna full time and you're gonna live in something and you want to be comfortable. <laughs> oh yeah. No, this is great. I mean. Yeah. This is you definitely full time in this. So this is oh, I'll just bump my head. There you go. But what's nice? So you can get one Nick Schmidt oh, up in here. Oh, you get two. And then another. Mary will another definitely person. fit up here with me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's no issues with that. <laughs> you I don't know. Mary I don't know if me and you can fit up here together, <laughs> Hank. Uh, well, it'll be very I mean, intimate. Look, look at the depth, you know. And yeah. then no, it's good. And then if you know, if I need some privacy. Yeah, what's cool is that if you really wanted to, I mean, if you were traveling and it's more than, let's say, you and Mary, you've got a couple of the kids with you. Correct. They could jump up here and sleep, but you could go My kids are in college sleep. now. They don't want to travel with me anymore. I am no longer the cool guy. You're an old man. I used to be so cool to You're my kids. You're only good for paying tickets. <laughs> yeah, parking tickets. I just paid one today, actually. <laughs> what? My Yes, I, I paid my daughter's parking ticket. Again? Yes, oh, okay. so bad. Right. So bad. Well, said, I mean, you're paying It was them, dark, too. it was rainy, I couldn't park <laughs> club. Da, da, da. Listen, can can I get tickets and you pay them, I too? I know, right? <laughs> I don't even know. Am I even, I don't even know if I'm a good parent. <laughs> 
No, you are. You're a good. I would um, say you're a good parent. I know you. But we all spoil our kids a little bit too much. Yes, that is a true statement. So, um, uh, no, this is really nice. So does that swing that. out of there? Yeah, how or, cool okay. is that? Yeah, nice big TV. 40 I'm inch smart TV, smart TV, HDMI okay. plug. So if the kids do play video games, mm -hmm. or if you wanted to hook an Apple TV up, it can be hooked up there. Yeah. Um, USB ports cool. everywhere to charge yeah. items. Right. I don't let my kids charge their phones in their beds or bedrooms. This, this, right. I would not allow them to do that. Um, on vacation, if it shuts them up, I would just... <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, maybe on vacation. Yeah, right. Maybe on vacation. <laughs> my daughter just turned 15 yesterday, Hank. Yes, I know. And your daughter, so and she, I can't tell the difference between your younger daughter... One's and 19 and daughter. one's 15. They do look yeah. the same. They're the same but, height, everything. But I made her sign a contract. She wanted Instagram and... Oh boy! Yes, this 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 was challenging. So I made her yeah. sign a contract. Okay, but no TikTok, right? No TikTok. Okay. Uh huh. But she had to sign a contract, and her account had to be private. We right. can't have any stalkers stalking her, <laughs> and she can't post any bikini pictures. Uh, okay, good. All good rules to me. I'm not not playing that game. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. No. This is wow. This is. I'm always amazed by how much room. And, and in these. I mean, a 30 foot RV. It's yeah. called a 28 SS. Yeah. But it's 30 feet. So, you know, it's yeah. not that big. I mean, it's a little bigger than a van. So, yeah. when you're walking back here, Are I'm we walking. Going? Oh, well, let's let's go. Can we go through the kitchen before we go we back did. there? My, my apologies. Mm -hmm. You got to open up every cabinet, Nick. Give the people every cabinet see. for the people oh. so they can look in. Check this out. So, this is cool, right? Yep. So, there is another square here. Let me just grab it. People are going to ask so you can about close it. this whole sink off. That. So you close the sink. So what people end up doing is they store stuff inside the sink, uh -huh. and then you can use the top of it. So if you have dishes, if you have pans, you can store them in the sink while you're driving. Yeah. So now, what? Why is there another little one here? Trash can. Ah, look at that. How cool is that? That right? is awesome. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. You're a coachman ambassador. I don't know if you're allowed to be this impressed with a. Um. With this a is super Forest seat. River. So, <laughs> that is it's true. I guess good. they're owned. They're your own. It's still all good. Um, so you got three yes. burner gas stove. This, uh -huh. this does kind of look like your your really high end commercial. Yeah. No, you can actually cook here. Yeah. So you have your convection microwave, air fryer, Sweet. microwave. What about up there? That cabinet. Let's storage. Give the folks a look in here. So this kind of this gives you a, a chance to look at it. so. So this is for the different inputs of the uh, TVs, outside oh, TV okay. and, and okay, inside cool. TV. What about this one? I feel like I opened this one already. Remember, we put our hands all up in it. And oh, did we? Oh, we did. Okay. Well, people are getting a little extra bonus of that one. We there won't we charge them any extra. Yes. Um, nice okay. big drawer nice there. Yeah. Nice drawer. Check this out. So they didn't give you touch-up paint because they know uh -huh. they know how special <laughs> these colors are. Isn't that yeah. cool? No, that's... Yeah, this all is all uh, your different stall remotes. remotes and everything. Sweet. Fire TVs, so your all smart TVs, your JBL yeah. sound bar. Mm -hmm. but look at that, all soft closing. Check this out. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I like the lights. Oh, yeah, there's, so there's highlights on the floor down there as well. That's always nice. And I like this. Yeah. This is for your Truma, your hot water here. So you turn it on and off right there. Very yep. easy to use. Yep. Very cool. Speaking of use, you know, one of the things buying from Sunshine State RVs is mm -hmm. we teach you how to use everything in your coach your mm -hmm. van your rv whatever it is we fly mm -hmm. you here to florida teach how to use it then we put you up for the first two nights at a local campground so you can test everything mm -hmm. are you going to teach me how to four by four in my expedition vehicle yes while you're driving up how to me. recover myself from how the side of a mountain no i'm gonna call matt have him recover you <laughs> okay <laughs> it looks like it's cheap in the videos nick but it's not really it's not cheap <laughs> no it's not cheap are we uh let's show some more cabinets show some more cabinets we'll, check these I'll show the boys out. yeah Look at that. I like it. I yeah. like it when they do this. Ew. I mean, lots of cool yeah. storage. Rather than just giving you a cubby, they give you a nice big pull. Why am I drawers. seeing 5G right above? Oh. Because that you? is a, that's a wine guard. So you, uh -huh. so you put a SIM card in it and, and you uh -huh. have a 5G router. That is your digital antenna also. And so everything is there. This is nice. This is a big wardrobe closet. You mm -hmm. can hang stuff. You can put stuff on the shelves. So pretty cool there. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, and then I guess we're going to go in. Hey, There is a little bathroom. There is a little uh, privacy door here. Yeah. Maybe. With a TV on it, which is interesting. It's locked somewhere else. I don't know. It must be. Yeah, hey, let me come in here and go this way. Oh, there way. we go. Let's go this way. Look at that. So uh, here. Look at that. So when you open. Oh, I see. So you can lie back here on the bed like this. And watch TV? And look at the TV. Isn't that cool? Ah, oh, this is awesome. Uh, 
control panel here. Okay, so Oops, I just lock us in there. Yeah, oh, there don't go. try, don't try to make any funny moves <laughs> on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, bathroom. Do you want to go in? Um, go in, in there. Talking about funny moves, yeah. you're following me in the bathroom. <laughs> um, um, no, this is nice, man. You know, if you're a, if you're a van lifer, <laughs> you don't know what to do with all this space, <laughs> yeah, this do you? Is, yeah, this is like a palace. Yeah. I've been in hotels that the bathroom's not this nice. I wouldn't stay in that hotel thing. Yeah, that's cool. So, nice skylight here. Yeah, Give me some extra space. Another, it's yeah. it's just luxurious. You know, really yeah. nice. Nice insulation. You can tell that it feels good yeah. in here. Oh, nice solid um, hardware. Right I like too. this. You know, soap yeah. dish, hot water, cold yeah. water. Very cool. Give a little pockets here. I'm assuming this thing's waterproof. What do you think? Yeah, well, it looks like it, the water will... Will wick out or, or something like that, right? And yeah, full size bathroom, little sink. You can brush your teeth in brush here. Brush your teeth, wash a, your a hands. window, which is always nice. But there is a vent fan. You know, when you're in a van, you need a vent in the bathroom. Yeah. You need like the aerosol spray. Yes. And you also need a radio <laughs> to make in the bathroom to make noise. <laughs> <laughs> Camouflage. <What? laughs> Camouflage. What do you what you do you be doing in the bathroom? You don't want to go get busy, you know, handling certain situations in that bathroom, and uh, you got a mask. What's going down? I don't know what you have going on in your life, Hank. Eh? Uh, you know, you got to maintain some of the mysteries with your significant no, other no, that's no. traveling. I've been married you. twenty. Me and my wife just celebrated our twentieth anniversary two weeks ago. Went on Sweet. a Mediterranean cruise. Nice. And uh, there's no mysteries between me and no. my wife. Me and Lola coming up on 25 during the Ocala show. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll buy you guys dinner. How's that? Okay, yes. Uh, I'm going to find the most expensive restaurant. No, I'm talking about I'll buy <laughs> oh. you dinner at the barbecue that we have. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> there's a nice French restaurant there that serves little tiny dishes for yeah. you to taste. Um, so, actually, I think last year you you did send uh, me and Lola to anniversary dinner, which was at a nice place. I can't remember the name of. Was it Marks or something? It was really nice, like a nice steakhouse. Yeah, yeah, that so was cool. I covered your dinner, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you did. Thank you. Okay. Don't believe everything they you, say. You about need to me. up your game this year. <laughs> <laughs> Get a hot air balloon to come in. You're gonna have to up it every year. Every year it has to be up. <laughs> But um, yeah, this is, wow. This is so. This is not even a slider back here. No. This is just the room. Always. Wow. Wow, this Isn't is cool. A, um, so, what size is this bed? Queen? Quite, yeah, queen size bed. I mean, okay. you know, good space. Yeah. Lots of room here. Yeah, I like the closets. Can, fit on this. can we? Can you open up some closets? I and can. Stuff? I was getting comfortable laying around. Yeah, don't get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. I can stand man. on the ledge right here too. Yeah, so. that's cool. I like these little side, these little side ledges. I don't know if you guys can see that. It gets you up a little. So you so got a closet it. there. Yeah. Nice big cedar drawer here. I guess the cedar. Stops one. the moisture, is that right? Uh, well, it stops the smells, yeah. Helps fight the smells, like Whoa. And stuff. So look how big this is, right? So, I mean, this thing is so, I can't even touch this the back. This is a ton of storage. Let me it go, I'll so go up on this side. Big. I can't even touch the back. So bathroom. here's this one, so that people say we didn't show them that one. Here's another one. Um, there's a tow, there's a tow hook, way safe tow hook thing in here. It looks like it comes with it. There you go. That's nice. And you said this can tow ten thousand pounds. Wow! So you could bring a jeep or something. Oh, you bring three you. jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could bring one cyber truck. <laughs> How much is the cyber truck? It's like sixty-five hundred pounds. Wow. <laughs> What's a jeep? A jeep is like what? Three or four thousand. Yeah, yeah, three thousand. So, is there um, storage under this bed? There's either? not. This is where like tanks are. And oh, stuff. okay, 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 okay. Re this is really nice, man. It's unique, Can isn't I show it? Show you guys the no, fridge. This one. Right here. Oh, so, over here. so okay. So this is not like a flip dory fridge. It is not. Okay. I don't know if that's a technical term, but flip dory. Remember that yeah. Chinook had that one flip door fridge. Yeah, that was sweet. We've seen that in a few things. I bet I can fit a lot of ice cream. Yeah. No more ice cream for no you. No more ice cream. Yeah. Or me either. <laughs> no more. Yes. I've been banned from all all ice cream, all desserts. <laughs> yeah. So. You know, the people ask all the time, you know, because mm -hmm. we're building a new dealership right now. So mm -hmm. we, we, we bought 13 acres. It's it's cleared. 
Yeah. And they are starting. And, and we, we're going to at some point show some of that to we people, are, right, yeah. once it gets going. Well, yeah, get yeah. a drone up there. And, yeah. And, and yeah. But 13 mm -hmm. acres, bought a new dealership, and people always ask, are you going to be selling different things, new things? Mm -hmm. Like, what are you going to add? And I really think this Super C Overland uh it's a valid, it's to me, be, it's a valid upgrade. You guys yeah. specialize in vans, yes. but some of the folks who maybe you've sold several vans to may decide, hey, we really want to, like, take up how much we could take yes. with us, how many people, yeah. and this is, this to me is a natural It's a natural, yes, yeah. exactly what I was about to say. Yeah. It, it naturally, you know, Very people, cool. people, so... So we sold our first hilt, our storyteller hilt, which is the mm -hmm. same size as this, and mm -hmm. the guy traded in a Revel. Mm -hmm. So he's like, you know what? I like the Overland. I just need a little more space. Yeah. So he's buying a hilt. The one that we sold of this, the Dynamax mm -hmm. Asada Three, the guy traded in a Airstream Atlas, which is a yeah. smaller B plus. The Asada Three is a little bigger. So people are going, you know, right now most people are going down in size. Right. But every once in a while, someone wants to go backwards. So you know, yeah. we, we just want to be, we want to, you know, have something available for. Yeah. For and those on this particular discerning person, yeah, but on this particular one, you can go overlanding in this. And when yes. I go to the overlanding shows, these are very popular. They tend to be a lot more expensive than this. Yeah. So this is this a is good entry point for about a quarter, about, you know, two hundred fifty thousand bucks. Yeah. This is a great. I mean, this yeah, is a lot. Point. I mean, yeah. there's vans out there that are more than that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There and they're bands. and they're like not not super big like 144. <laughs> right, right, 100, right. So so, so really, I, I was you impressed. Got a lot in this. Yeah. I was really impressed. No, I'm impressed. I went through yeah. everything. I mean, from everything Dynamax does, from their installation to the way they build it mm -hmm. from the ground up to the way it looks, to the way it feels, to mm -hmm. the luxury, to you know, just they they really really overbuilt. And you know what they did? I should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video. Mm -hmm. They redid their entire suspension. Oh. Redid their entire suspension. So can we go out there and look at it? Since we're, I, we're probably about to wrap up, right? Yes, but let me let me tell you exactly what they did. I okay. forgot all the details. Yeah. But the, but I text them. So they did a whole new Moride upgrade rubber shackle system. Okay. They did four Bilstein shocks and, and a hmm. heavy duty rear sway bar. Huh. Nine hundred fifty watts of solar, four hundred amp hours of lithium, dual pane windows, cargo heater. Okay. Um, I mean the air. So this should be easier. To Seventy-eight drive. gallon of fresh water. Wow. Seventy-eight gallons. Yeah. So this should be a lot easier to drive. I'm gonna have to test that out though, Nick, because I don't 100 percent believe it until I do it. Nick, you can drive it. <laughs> drive it like you yeah. stole it. Yeah. Uh, pretty much will be what will be happening. No, but this looks great. I like the compass rose. Great. I yeah. like the white. I think it's a sharp look. The contrast between mm -hmm. dark and light. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I've. Yeah. I'm a fan of all of it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I love the vans. That's what we, that's all we do. That's what we do every day. Mm -hmm. But we're we're uh, we're getting into this segment, and yeah. I'm excited about it. Yeah. So technically, if you think about it, it's not exactly the first one we've shown because we did do the hilt. We did. And you're getting hilts in, right? We're gonna have one in the next month. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So there's some there's some cool choices here that you can go with. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is nice. Nice to see it. Like I said, I'm gonna have to. You know, I have to test it out. Man, take it. A little bit. You can't go number two. No yeah. funny business oh. in the bathroom. No music playing. No, no, no funny business. No funny business. No funny business. <laughs> um, okay, so if someone's interested in this, yes. how can they, you know, come, like get a look at it, find out yeah. more details? Go to our website, sunshinestaterves.com. We okay. got them here. We there you go. them for free. Mm -hmm. we, we, you know, we do it all. Okay, sweet. There you go. Thanks a lot, Very man. Simple. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. It is simple and easy. <laughs> And you'll do all the cool stuff you do, fly people in. Free delivery anywhere in the country, stuff. fly okay, cool. in, put you up at a campground. Yeah. Whole nine yards. Sweet. Every every single time. Awesome. Same awesome. customer service, same everything. Yeah. And then maybe one more thing. Yes. Ocala is coming up. Ocala, so give people RV the details show. so they say we didn't tell them. February. Nobody watches the end of videos, <laughs> by the way. February For all 29th, the diehards. February 29th, right. March 3rd. Uh -huh. Hank, Lola, myself, right. will all be in Ocala for the Ocala RV show. Yep. The Coachman Class B the camping, the rally, the, the roundup. Yeah. We'll be camping there, eating there, mm -hmm. hanging out, everything. Yeah. I saw some people in the. Uh, you've got Waiting some people room, yeah. over at the dealership who will be there, and then I met a guy. Uh, what was that? Yesterday or two days ago? 
who just bought a Beyond. Yeah, Rick so Hale. Yeah, so he'll be there. <laughs> he'll, he's, a, he's a Clemson yeah. Tiger fan. I don't know oh, about. Oh, okay. He's a little suspect. <laughs> okay, so no, fo- no food for you. No food. No food for you. No breakfast. He can't go to breakfast. That's Sunday's breakfast. <laughs> Thursday night's dinner, Sunday's right. breakfast. Okay, all right, there you go. So uh, we'll see you guys out there. Let us know what you think about this. Leave your questions, comments, all that stuff. Yes. See you on the next one. We're out. Peace.